Hey guys, Dragon Monkey here. I'm assuming uh, you're new at this and you haven't even got like, you you just got like a basic sound card. You don't have anything really special. Or maybe you got like a cheap plug-in or something. Like I have a Behringer plug-in that's like 20 bucks. It plugs in, it's like USB and it has RCA connectors. So then you can just plug in the RCA connectors into your mixer, which is what I'm doing right now. So I recommend going to asioforall.com and downloading whatever language version you need of ASIO for all this is amazing uh, I have it right now like see this little arrow right here that's ASIO for all running right now because Cubase is up anyway so install that it's pretty straightforward uh, I started to install on here so I don't really want to do that again anyway, so then you come back here right so you start Cubase back up you go to devices device setup and you go VST audio system and then you go into the drag down, drop down menu and you select ASIO for all. Yes. And then that's it. You can go into here and you can ex examine what's what in and outs you have available. These are all mine. I use ASIO for all because I have sometimes like I'm playing late at night and I don't want to wake anybody up so I use my headset as my headphone or the output so I can play quietly. So it's a great way to kind of like use different because I have like a sound card and I have a pair of, see the Samson Studio GT I have a set of monitor speakers that has an actual input on the speaker and I use that for my guitar that's it I use the my Behringer input set into a Yamaha mixer to get my microphone and the loop sound you hear whenever you hear music in Cubase but yeah so anyway you can go to control panel from there and you can select what you want, like, I don't need that. But, uh, you know, see, what I was saying, like, the Logitech headset, my Behringer $20 thing, my speakers, my actual built-in audio for my computer, which I have it turned off right now because I'm using that for my desktop audio. But anyway, so then you just hit OK, and it sets it, and then you just go to, uh, I press F4, but we're going to go this way, connections, and then you set it up to how you want it to come out, like, like I was saying, I want to just use my headphones. I would switch the the connections to my headset, and then I would switch it back to this when I'm regular, just wanting to hear it when I'm mixing out of my speakers. So what you would do is you'd set the outputs to where you want the sound to come out of, right? Okay. So then once you're done with that, you go to inputs, and then you do the drop, same thing. Use the drop down menu and pick the inputs you want for like your guitar, microphone, whatever. It varies compared, um, so you you do that. So that's all set up, and then you can finally go to new project, add your empty thing or whatever. Add an audio thing, and then this stereo in, which obviously won't work for me because I'm using the hit, the device right now. But it would let you see like I'm stereo out. It would let you select left or right based on your connections right here. Uh, and I hope. I know that was kind of long. Five minutes. Oh, wow. I felt like it was longer than that. I hope that wasn't too long, guys. I hope that helped a little bit. So what we went over was um, setting up the audio with the device setup. I'll just kind of run through it again. Device setup. Uh, setting the audio system to ASIO for all, unless you have a card that works with it. And, like, for me, I had the Behringer, so I could select Behringer, and that would be my input. But I used ASIO because, like I had said, you know, it's kind of... Let's use all my stuff. But anyway, so then you come down here. Make sure your in and outs are showing. You can go to control panel and turn them on or off. And it'll let you know if they're busy and you can't use them. Like this, for example, it's in use. See, it says in use by another application. It has a question mark, but it is in use. But anyway, so there, there you go. Um, you can mess with this stuff over here, but that's kind of... Um, I'll talk about that in the future. In another episode. This is just to kind of get you get up and going. Because it was frustrating for me. It took me hours to set this up for me to be able to even do anything. So um, there's that. And so I'll leave you with this. A, a segment from this um, thing I did to show you what it will be like once you get recording. All right, here it is. This is a little demonstration. It has all the different audio stuff I had recorded. This is MIDI. Oh, there's a lot of MIDI stuff in here. I use this program. I'll go through a lot of that stuff later. Uh, if you have any questions or anything you want me to or yeah if you just have any questions just leave them in the comments below i'll be very very happy to try to help you out with your problems because i i want everyone to have a, a wonderful experience like i've had 
doing audio recordings and stuff. So you guys have a wonderful day. Click the like button below if you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. You guys have a wonderful day, guys. Peace out.